welcome to your Blue Plate Special. Diner recipes and only diner recipes. Today we're going to make Thousand Island dressing and we're going to serve it on a lettuce wedge like you get in a diner, especially from the 50s. But before we do that, I would like to peel an onion for you. You know 95% of all the onions you're ever going to peel, you're going to chop or slice afterward. So why take the time and trouble to try to peel it all down as you've got it whole? This is an easy way to, to peel an onion. Go down the stem part, pretend there's an X because you want to get the core in all four cuts. So go down, hold tight, don't hurt yourself. Okay, now we're going to cut until we have a core piece on every section, okay? Now you want to hold your knife in front of the core, you want to go down and you want to just hold it to the table, take your other hand and gently peel off the onion. You've got the last peel in the skin. Let's do it again. Go down and peel off the onion. Okay? That's how fast it can be. Save you some time. Let's put this over here. We don't need that for now. Okay, I don't even need that. Because all I want for this recipe is uh, one tablespoon of finely diced onions. So I'm just going to do that real fast right now. This is a wonderful recipe. I think you'll like it in your salads. And you know what? It's great on a hamburger or in a cold sandwich of any kind, even a BLT. You can use this dressing in many, many ways. Of course, Thousand Island dressing is on the market in your grocery stores too, but I think everything is better if it's homemade. And this is an old diner recipe. I think we've got just enough, just enough, maybe a little bit over a tablespoon, doesn't matter. I'm just going to use that much. Okay. I'm going to eyeball it. I'd say that's a tablespoon. So I'm going to add that when I get around to it. All done. Put that aside. Okay. Now to that, well, yeah, to that we're going to add six tablespoons of mayonnaise. Okay. This is called mise en place, having everything in its place, getting it prepped beforehand. Makes everything go faster, folks. One and a half tablespoons of chili sauce, and it comes in a jar, in a bottle, you know what chili sauce is. And one tablespoon of onion, which I've added, one tablespoon of sweet or bread and butter pickles, and one teaspoon of the juice. So that's the pickle. And one tablespoon of sweet peppers. They're in a jar, and some people, some people call them pimentos, but they're sweet peppers. They're all nice and cooked and soft. And there you have it. You mix this all together. And that's Thousand Island dressing. That's what restaurants do. That's how they made it. That's how we used to make it in the 50s and 60s, let me tell you. I, I grew up in the diner business and went on to restaurants and bed and breakfasts and all that good stuff. Here we're, we have a head of iceberg lettuce. You take the core like this and you slam it down. The core comes right out. Okay? That's how easy that is. Then you go down and you slice it in wedges. Now, I'm going to put this aside, bring my plate over, cut a nice wedge. And this is how we served it in the diner. We put the wedge on a plate, we take the Thousand Island dressing, and we would pour it over. Doesn't that look delicious? You have to try it. It's nice to have this in the refrigerator. You're going to enjoy it. Thousand Island Dressing on Iceberg Lettuce. Have a good day. Bye-bye.